evening forecast, partly cloudy, falling back to 69 degrees overnight. Sunny tomorrow, Wednesday's high 85. We're coming up on 449. I had gotten the call from my old Art Institute union buddy, Don Camera, that Jay Pastelak was retiring after some 35 years of teaching. Jay had served as the union president or vice president for many of those years, and we all owe him a great debt. I don't know. Where's everybody? I'm going out to the rally. All right, let's go. You know, who are you, by the way? I'm Jay Pastelak. I'm the chief steward for the, for the Faculty Federation of the Art Institute of Philadelphia, otherwise known as Ask Me Local 3397. He was also a heck of a good teacher and photographer. I quit around five years ago, badly burned out after 30 years of teaching. ID photos show my downward progression. Relatively sane in the early years, I soon became demented and finally was just sort of a cartoon. Now I have to make videos just so I can remember where I parked. I got one of the first parking spots on the way in, maybe parking spot number three or four. There are rumors that even William Penn was so verklempt at Jay's retirement that he asked to be enshrouded so his tears would not be visible to the public. We were to meet at a bar called Ladder 15. Googling it, I was a bit concerned when I saw it made this list, but it turned out to be a wonderful place, not douchey at all. Just a bit too dark for my iPhone. When is this going to happen again? You have to get out of here and at least get testimonials to Jay and what Jay meant to everybody. Jay? Who's he? It's Fuck Jay Passalot. Jay was across from me. He's one of the best. In his cubicle. Like the original. I think there was and like he was great to be with. Great to talk to. And he, he made it easy. Jay is a fantastic man who did so much for everyone, you know, very unselfish guy. He wasn't as selfish as that John Thornton, no? No, John uh, Thornton uh, 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 uh. John Thornton? You about mean me. John Thorzine? The guy that made us all feel like we were numb from all his nervous all right, all right. energy? on camera. <laughs> Acting president. Oh, not anymore. If at any point in this video I seem a bit unhinged, it wasn't my fault. Don Camera, ex-president of the union, was in charge of the drink tickets, and he gave me too many of them. Strike! 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 What? 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 I'll miss you, Jay. I'll be there for a while. <laughs> what is the odds of a strike before you retire? No odds. Jay was a wonderful person. Look, not was, he is and will be for a long time, of course. All righty. Jay is the founding father of the union, and if you don't understand that, you will. Why did we need a union? It's a complicated story, but this helps explain it. For years, we were owned by Goldman Sachs an organization that Matt Taibbi called the Great Vampire Squid, relentlessly jamming its blood funnel into anything that smells like money. Jay, we love the guy. He's moving on. Good for Jay. Mimi, the yes. glamour queen of the art institution. Are the rumors true that you and Jay used to slip up to the prop room on lunch break? Well, I did used to give him a ride home sometimes. I will admit to that. Oh, that's the company man. Are all those stories about John Thornton and students time true? John Thornton and acting out Carol Walker paintings? And I'm sitting there and I felt a straight on my foot. Please disregard any insinuations of wrongful behavior on my part by this company man. Now let's get back to praising Jay. Love that Jay Pastelak, world famous actor with a big career ahead of him. Guy's impressive. 
really impressive. You used to be on the other side of the union table with Jay. Was he a fierce negotiator? Friendly. Friendly? Friendly. Jay! What? What's wrong with them? They don't want to strike. Pussies. Would you strike if Jay asked you to? Yes, of course. I love Jay. He is the best. Because of Jay, I was the first union president. And he taught me so much. Thank you, Jay. Enjoy your retirement. Is this Larry Palmer legendary union? No, library? it's not. No, it's a, tell everybody in the union that there is a clause in that contract they have never seen where 10% of everything they have comes to me. Jerry. <laughs> hey, John. Comments on Jerry. He was a wonderful president. He did so much for the union and so much for individual people that really needed his support. I owe Jay Paslak an awful lot. Jay has covered all of our butts for so many years as union president and uh, as a colleague, and certainly mine. I went through a lot of trials and tribulations. When uh, it, it really mattered, uh, you know, he, he worked very hard to save my job. Jay was the apple in the middle of the whole union. He knows everything. We are going to be in touch with him so we can survive. I thought you were going to say he was the apple in the middle of the field of cow pies. No, I wasn't going to say oh, that. Right. I'm not going to say right. that. Either. Okay, okay. I am just sad to see Jay go because I think he was a humongous help to us here. What do you think about Jay? I'm going to miss you, brother. That's all I can say. Me or Jay? I already miss you. You're gone. Jay, I just said to him, I'm, he's always been an amazing mentor and friend through in photo, but I also like going out for beers with him after work. You, Telling me stories of Rochester, New York. We both went to RIT, so oh, we have really? a common RIT uh, connection. I did not know yeah. that. Yeah, wow. he's got good stories too. You know, he was this really tall, good looking man and didn't like that. <laughs> right from the beginning, I knew. As a much-loved union trustee, I once used my math background to get a 17 cent an hour retroactive pay increase. I was told that this young man was following in my very hard to fill footsteps. It was part of your plan. You always were concerned about the money. They called me Thornton. They called me Thornton for the day. You must be very honored. I was. I was very honored. Hello, John Thornton. Would you like to talk about Jay? I'm not sure what to say. Just say Rosebud. I Just like Jay. Rosebud. No, I'm not going to say that. Rosebud. I'm going to say Jay has to find another source of income if he's going to retire. I think he will. I think he could be a Hemingway impersonator. We're going to go to Key West. He's going to grow his beard back. So. Are you happy to have him back in the house? No. <laughs> no. I'm glad I'm out. I'm glad I'm out. Jay is uh, a really great guy. I wish him a lot of luck on his uh, acting career. I wish him the best with that. I didn't know that he was doing that. That sounds really cool. I'm glad I was able to help him. How so? I did his headshots. There we are. What a handsome guy. Yeah, you would hire this guy, right? What do you think of Jay Pastelot? <laughs> He's a wonderful man. Yes, he is. But that may not be enough. In this film, we've seen six of our union presidents. It is a tough job, and in recent years, almost unbearably so. Unions have been losing power for decades, and there are structural issues that, despite my bluster, make an effective strike almost impossible. The for-profit Education Management Corporation, our parent company, has been accused of predatory practices in recruiting students. Its stock price has fallen from close to $30 a share in 2012 to its current one cent. Dozens of art institutes across the country have closed and there have been massive layoffs. Of the, 
The company is trying to sell itself to Dream Center Foundation, a Pentecostal nonprofit out of Los Angeles. God bless you. Who are you? Who am I? I'm a disciple of Jesus. No one knows what the future will bring. Linda, you are no longer the president of the union? No, no, I resigned at the end of the winter quarter three months ago. Why? It was the layoffs. I was president for four and a half years, and every quarter I'd get a list of people either laid off or on a reduced load. And it got to be the point where there'd be 18 names on the list. There'd be 20 names on the list. Once I got a, a list with 12 names on it, and I felt relieved. And some of these people were devastated. This is their income. This is their livelihood. What do I do now? And I really tried to treat everybody how I would want to be treated. I would hold their hand, I would take them through step by step what they needed to do. I'd let them know what's going to happen next. It just got to the point where it, it just tore me up. These are people that I've known for 20 years. I was friends with them, I you know, ate lunch with them, I'd go to the bar with them. It tore me in half. EDMC have sold. We don't know what's going to happen with the new owners. We don't know if they're going to try to break the union, whether they're going to be accepting of the union. We are the only AI that has a union now. The only other one, New York, is closed. They're very Christian fundamentalist organization. So they're using us as a investment so they can garner income, do their good. Well, maybe doing good would be treating workers with a bit of decency. You know what? But we'll see. What is the mood like at the. Well, we're waiting for the shoe to drop. They just had a round of layoffs this morning for staff and administration. So it's a big question mark and we don't know what's going to happen. You've seen everybody in there. If you've worked here for 15 years, you're, you're at the bottom of the seniority. Thelman's here for 30 years. Jay's been here for almost 35 years. He's retiring. And that was one of the things they brought up was faculty salary. It's like, well, geez, if you've been here for 30 years, you know, 15 years, of course you're making more than somebody, you know, that's walked through the door. So that has a lot of people on edge too. Are they going to value the long-time employee? Or are they going to look at us as a number on a spreadsheet that needs to be reduced? Well, so we what, what are your personal plans? Well, John, I'm 60 years old. If I get laid off or it closes or whatever the case may be, where am I going to go? Who's going to hire somebody who's 60, 60 years a old? Who's a world-class animator and the nicest person in the world? Well, I think I'd be crazy <laughs> not to. Well, uh, from your lips, John. <laughs> from your lips. <laughs> oh, and I love you. Oh, God, I miss you so much. Uh, you know, I, I really, you know what? I really did enjoy being your cubicle wife. <laughs> I mean, what it was it? Had to be like 13, yeah, 14 years. Yeah. It was a long time. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, well, thank you, John. Thank, thank you, you for coming. Uh, this was a joy. And if I make a movie, is this gonna screw anything up? No, what, I mean, it's, no, why? Well, talking about I'm not, I'm not on school property. Uh, and you. Jesus would want people to be treated what would, decently. What would Jesus do? He wanted to mess up people. Right? See, but I live my life on what would John Thornton do? <laughs> well, that's, well. <laughs>
I know. <laughs> that's why that's why I'm here to He get slightly drunk and make a video. There you go. To all my friends and former colleagues at the Art Institute of Philadelphia, I wish you all the best in these very difficult times. And to Jay Pastelak and all of our union officials, I offer my deepest gratitude. You gave us a voice.